Shar Bitachon in the Chovod Levavot. It was written by uh, Ben Abachia. Ben Abachia Ibn Pakuda. He uh, is one of the Rishonim. He lived uh, around the same time as Rashi, the 1100s, the late late thousand. 1040 to 1105, that was where Rashi lived, around the same time Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar lived. So he writes this uh, moment, uh, monumental work called Chovot Levavot, and it's very very heavily studied, the fourth gate. Shara Revi'i is Shara Bitahon, teaches us how to have trust in Hashem. So we're going to start the study in a few of his words. Hopefully it will be very uplifting. Um, Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar, Sefer uh, Chovod Levod was very accepted in the, in the Jewish community, and uh, I remember in yeshiva when I when I left, uh, they told me where well, before you get married you must learn Shar uh, Bitahon. You must. There's no way you'll be able to survive uh, the trials and tribulations of this world if you do not get the advice that Chovod uh, Levod tells us. So therefore, uh, maybe maybe with that Hashem we should uh, learn something from. Uh, which is okay to learn something from Bitahon. Now, uh, an explanation with Bitahon uh, literally means, they translate usually as trust, usually as a relying on Hashem. But the problem is, so what is the difference between Bitahon and Emunah? Sounds like they're the same thing. So they explain, the Ramban explains that the Emunah is more conceptual, as opposed to Bitahon is more, uh, you know, actual, more practical. A person says, I have Emunah, that means theoretically in, in his mind he believes. But is it in his body? Is it in his limbs? And is it, is it in his hands? Does he live by it every single day? So therefore, this is dependent on if he has bitachon. Bitachon means that he practically, he lives by the munah that he has. The Ramban explains it in a mashal. He says, for example, a munah is like a tree. Bitachon is the fruit. Is that actually the, something came out from your emuna that you acted different because of your emuna that's showing bitachon when you actually act differently. So, which is okay to have not just emuna but also bitachon. So he says that there's a couple benefits a person gets from having bitachon in a kadosh baruch hu. Person has the most most vital thing to serve a kadosh baruch hu is to have bitachon to have reliance on Hashem in all matters, not only in parnasah, not only in children, not only in zivug, not only every single asset of your life. You know, there's a famous story of the guy who was looking for a parking, and he was trying to get to work. He's looking, looking, looking. He said, I couldn't find. He says, Kadosh Baruch Hu, you know, I'll start uh, wearing tefillin every day if you help me find a parking. I'll, I'll start uh, coming to Shahrid every day if you help me find a parking. As he was saying this prayer, he saw a parking spot open up. He says, okay, you know what, Kadosh Baruch Hu, it's okay. Thank you, I got it. It's okay, I found the parking spot. So therefore, the person has to realize that even on the parking spot, we have to have reliance on Hashem. We have to realize that the Baruch Hu is the one who's supplying us with all the all the all, all the success we have in every endeavor. And uh, even in that case, that he got that parking lot because parking spot because of his prayer, and he should have kept what he, what he said. But regardless, he says especially the Torah and in Yana Olam, especially in Torah has benefits, and especially for worldly matters. He says so. The first spiritual benefit of having Tahorn, he says, Menuhat Nafsho. He says, the first thing we experience is peace of mind. Today, everybody wants peace of mind, and they want mindfulness, and they want tools to handle their stress. And he says, having bitachon and Hashem, he is, is, is going to give you the first benefit of menuchat anefesh, pleasantness in your soul, peace of mind. He says, for example, just like a slave, a slave is worried how he's going to get fed today. Is he worried who's going to pay the Khan Edison? Is he worried um, who's going to lock the doors? No, that's the Balabai's job. It's not my job. I have a mission. Go and clean up the garbage. I have the mission. Go and feed the animals. I have a mission to go and clean up the basement. What are all those things? That's, that's, that's his job. I don't have to worry about that. I'm not thinking for once. I'm wasting my time thinking about those things. That's how a person has to be with the Kadesh Baruch Hu. This, my Parnasa, I, I know what my job is. I have to do my Ishtadlut. How it's going to come? When it's gonna come, that's not my problem. That's the balabai. Hashem's the balabai. Hashem's the one in charge. What I'm wasting time thinking and wondering and if, oh, how and when and why. That's not my job whatsoever. That's the balabai. That's like the Baruch Hu's job, like a master who has reliance on Hashem. And he says, you know what happens when you don't have 
trust in Hashem ends up being you have trust in something else. You end up trusting in a person. You end up trusting in, a, in your job. You end up trusting in a, in a false god, in your own wisdom, your wealth, talents, all these other things. And then you're going to get a rude awakening when things are not in your control. So a person who goes through life not believing of this Baruch Hu is the one who runs his life. He thinks, was well, my job, that's why I'm so successful. My talents, I'm so successful. My wisdom, I'm so successful because I'm connected with these people. That's why I'm successful. And one day, those things don't help you in a situation you can't be helped. Your friends can't help you. Your wisdom can't help you. Your talent can't help you. You're in a rut that everything you used to rely on doesn't go for you anymore. Boom. His life is in a wreck. But if he always had bitachon and Hashem, then he would have been able to go over that bump in life as well. So therefore he says you have to be careful not to fall and not having bitachon and Hashem because you end up having, you have to have bitachon in something. You have to trust somebody. So therefore you might as well go out of your way to blessed, be blessed and trust in Hashem because he's the one who is the master of the universe.